in today's video we, we are going to talk about the adaptive filtering for noise reduction in MATLAB this is an other MATLAB image processing tutorial where we are going to talk about the filtration process the filtration is an important process where we need to remove the noise from an image for example if you see this image of Sectron uh, this is a noisy image and once we apply the filtration the output would be something like this we have many filtration available in the image processing toolbox of the MATLAB but why use the adaptive thresholding adaptive thresholding would adjust according to the every image you provide to it so you don't have to fix the parameters rather you let the parameters to be computed according to the need of the every image so if you want to see the example code we have we have some examples this adaptive techniques involves creating a filter that can adjust itself to changing noise pattern in the image to use the adaptive filtration for the noise reduction in matlab you can try selecting appropriate filter first so basically you can just select the linear filter or the Kalman filter and estimate its coefficients using the image data. So you take an image, calculate the data and change the parameters of the linear filter or a Kalman filter or any other filter you choose for adaptive filtration process. The adaptiveness means that to adjust according to the new pattern. And the estimated parameters or the coefficient using the image data can be calculated using the autocorrelation or the cross-correlation matrices of the image and the noise. So if you calculate the autocorrelation and cross-correlation of the image and the noise, you can use them to compute the optimum filter coefficients. Once the filter coefficients are estimated, they can be applied to the noisy image to obtain a denoised one version. So today's video we are focusing on the Wiener filter mostly. Let's get started and see the code examples. First of all we have an image which is Saturn PNG. This image is available in the MATLAB image processing toolbox. So we read that image and convert that image into a grayscale using the IM2 gray function. We provide an RGB image to this function and get a grayscale version of it. Then we apply a noise. With the function of M noise, we give it a grayscale image, provide the Gaussian noise and spew parameters and we call to apply 0.025% of the noise onto the image. Because the image is too big, we can show a little portion of that and uh, uh, you can then see the image available. So for example, let's just save this file and we call it adaptive ex01 and this script could be used for our testing purposes. Let's run this portion. And uh, once you run this, it will show the Saturn image into your figure. So after we run this portion, let's undock this and this will show a little portion of the image with the added Gaussian noise we can simply use the veneer filter with the veneer 2 and uh, give a j and 5 by 5 this is just like applying a median filter where you provide a matrix of 5 by 5 and you say it just to filter it and once we apply that, we run the Vanier filter and we show the image again. If you run this again, you will see this is a denoised image. You can see that the noise is improved dramatically. 
and you can see the difference between these two images. What one more thing we can apply is we can uh, read a noisy image and we can define a size of the window or, or we can apply the, we can estimate the local noise variance using a median filter. With the help of median filter we can estimate the local variable and local variance. And we can also compute the global noise variance using the median filter of the local variance with this formula. Then we can compute the linear coefficient. By this method, we can compute the, all the parameters of any noisy images and we can adaptively calculate the parameters of any image and the noise. We can compute them. Once we computed this coefficient, we can apply this to the linear filter or we can simply use the image filter algorithm to compute that. And we can plot both of images side by side. 